hi how you doing guys you know it's a beautiful evening you know i'm here to really even show you i'm titling this you know tutorial and happy tome of uh, a good cover design and i want to show you how to create a book cover that is really you know uh unique and uh perfect you know without further ado let's get to it we'll be working with this picture uh, alongside with uh, Photoshop let's go over to Photoshop to create our background then we uh, import it to CorelDRAW to make use of so right now we are dealing with this picture so at this point there is image there's one image that I've downloaded I'm working with this you know with a free image I'm going to upload this along with the tutorial so that I can make use of it you know so right now we are going to go over to Photoshop file new click on new you know then select you know international paper select A4 go then OK so as this right now we are going to drag this uh, image to the next you know uh, drawing page to the next drawing page you can see right now then let's reduce it then we drag up here so as this right now we are going to import the picture of the guy that wrote the book go over to file then place then locate the picture it has been uh, traced already so as this right now we are going to blow it up then we'll change it to grayscale you press ctrl shift u let's right click on this rasterize layer then you go over to control press control shift control shift u to make it grayscale then you copy let's sample the color of the background which is this color then let's make uh, this uh, copy the image then you sh press ctrl shift delete on your keyboard automatically it applies to the image or you press ctrl shift or ctrl halt delete automatically it appears then you go over out of this place and change it to screen good so i still right now we are going to uh, blend this background select this background which is the image of the then you go over to this place add layer mask then select on the is white background then you select add your brush which is this in this case right now as this right now black reveals we are going to change the foreground of the color to black okay then you select this white you know uh, mask then you paint on that white automatically it disappears the background good so as this right now we are going to be dealing with this uh, color uh, blue sample the color magenta then you create a layer by press ctrl shift new ctrl shift n automatically it, uh, it opens up uh, a new layer for you then you press select your brush make it bigger let's reduce the density then the opacity of it then you sample it on the picture so as this right now we are going to go to this place select screen good now what we are going to do right now is to select the two image then you press ctrl here to match the two image together 
then you make it bigger make it bigger good as this right now we are going to blend the uh, the cloth of the guy a bit create a mask layer mask on the image select the white area pick on your brush brush then you lighten the white area of the picture blend it blend it blend it blend it and it's good so as this right now we are going to we are going to make the background press control delete uh, keyboard yes let's go for this good then you group the whole thing together or match the whole thing together control e automatically it match the whole thing then you go over to your adjust then levels then level the whole thing make it unique good So as this right now we are going to blend the the edges of the picture you go over to your blur then you press alt on your keyboard then you right click or you right click in my house then you drag uh, outward to make it bigger then you paint on the picture to make it blend paint on it you know just like that just like that just like that just like that good keep blending 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 just like that good keep blending good so as this right now we are going to export this let's save it save the background that we've created Set the corridor as a set. Then you go over to corridor. Let's import the background that we've created. Good. So as this right now, let's create a book. Select change to a5 double click it, so double click on the rectangular to automatically snap to the uh, a4 size you know is that a4 size there and you power clip your image drag it down then you make a copy of the layer extracts then you delete the image then let's sample the color of the image somewhere here so that it will look unique then you paste on the other objects that you copied then you go back to your frame remove frame so automatically it disappears the star lines on the objects now let's arrange our test let's design the topic of the book paste 
the post supposed to have a spine let's shift this then let's create our spine good let's make a sample of this area then we'll paste on here likely to despair the offline then let's close the gap in between the objects good then let's uh, let's arrange our test press ctrl k to break the test apart let's select classic fonts <coughs> so right now we are going to change the fonts let's break the title of the book then let's select this flash then you change the font of the <coughs> to this let's highlight then press ctrl f3 to change the title case good make it white no this is not good let's change it to try john try john try john then it used the uh, space in between the test good make it all cap control f12 good change this to try john change this to try John okay let's make it white good Use this. Okay, my pound of flesh. Then you sh shift this, you know, towards this place. Use that. Let's be creative about this. We are going to use uh, Brazier to let's perform a trick. Drag just like so. Drag like this. Drag like this. Like this. Right click on white. Then you change that to let's press F12. A dialog dialog box will open. Then you change it to let's make it three okay go over again select this place behind feel okay it's not good yet f12 go over again okay f12 go over again that's okay so as this right now we are going to perform a magic here S my pound pound of flesh good let's reduce it select the whole thing group it then locate your uh, shadow to make a shadow of the other 
drag down a bit then you go over to here to change the density to 90 okay then you make this 6 good go over to your object break drop shadow then group the whole thing reduce it a bit then you make that name white right written by double click on the test automatically test to I like the test then you type written written by written by by Jimmy Okala let's make this Tight to guess. Then let's change it to try John. Good. Then let's reduce this. Select your shape to to expand the space in between the test. Then you center. Good. Center within the book good we are getting there right now then we are changing the back cover uh, color to make it look unique good let's try bitmap RGB okay sample the color okay good now bring this closer to this place page up this is about the book it's gonna be at the back of the book good now as this right now we are going to bold in let's change the font to classic then you go over to this place full justification now and uh, then you make this bold change the font to try F Futura T then you pull the auto good go over to about the book same thing change it to Futura T then you change the book to bold Let's change the font size to 12. Good. Imports the picture that we've traced that import that good delete that let's bit by the picture then you park clip inside the object make adjustment by pressing alt on your keyboard then you adjust 
the the picture now we are going to there's something we're gonna do we are <coughs> going to uh, make a test trap around this uh, image <coughs> let's bring it down there you go over stress that stress the image just like so just like so just like the just like so then you cools from this point then you go over onto this place test trap good Let's go over uh, to the to this test. Make that fourteen. Let's make that twenty four. Then this twenty four. Then <coughs> right alignment. This to right alignment. Good. Adjust this. I adjust the test trap. see the outcome of the book so there's something we're gonna put at the spine let's just uh, type uh, my pound of flesh of flesh Let's change it to Futurati. Then we pull the the flesh and the pound. We are going to slant it. Double click on the test. Then it's indicate <coughs> that you should screw. Then you screw it just like so. Center it within the book. I pull it up just like so then paste by select uh, shape to drag it close then screw it like that then you reduce it good reduce it let's change this part to this color sample this color from here Good. Then you pour it on this object. Then you press Ctrl Shift down your keyboard.
here we come to the end of the tutorial you can see the outcome of the book very creative simple and classic you know let's adjust this place drag this drag this down here good here we come to the end of today you can see the outcome of it very classic and unique you know thanks for following me don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below and turn on the notification button in case i have something valuable to share bye for now